Pride of Longbridge is 10 o'clock and I was aiming to leave at 10 to 8 in the morning. And the reason being um, that I'm not leaving till now is because Arlo um, was very poorly. He had a very bad eye that was bleeding so I had to rush him to the vets. So um, I'm back from the vets. Arlo is a lot better. I'm just going to put photos of Arlo's eye in now. So close your eyes if you're squeamish. Oh, sorry if you did see that and didn't like it. It, it. it was pretty damn gross. Thankfully his eye is fine. There's a cut to his eyelid and it had bled down into his eye. That's why it looks so bad. Um, but here's a picture of him now as I'm leaving. And as you can see he's looking a lot better. He's um, tucked up on his blanket and uh, my neighbour's going to look after him and put his little eye drops in. So I can still go to the show. Um, I feel a bit bad leaving him but he's only going to sleep now and rest. That's what he needs. Anyway, I shall see you at the show. There we are, Peggy's made it to Longbridge and the ground is very muddy <laughs> and the tyres are all filthy, look. Gross. But we're here. Good job I got my splash guards on. Look, I splash some mud on the beach. Gross. Colin's here in two cars. He's got VRF and his inner chenty. There's this series three here. I don't know the chap's name. And then Steve with his Allegro. And look, there's Dan, but he hasn't got his Allegro here. He's got his Maestro here, and um, his Maestro actually needs a piece of Allegro to get him home. He needs a radiator cap, don't you? Yeah. And thankfully, I've got a radiator cap in Peggy's She's boot. A darling. Oh. Darling. Time to call this. Oh, oh there's Colin. Hello, Hello. Colin. <laughs> this is, um, oh, I had to rush my cat to the vet a clock. Oh, no. Yeah, that's all right, don't worry. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, he's been in a drama queen. Yeah. <laughs> Well, where do I start? There are a lot of cars here today and I've got my gimbal working today so it's going to be a little bit wobbly, I'd imagine. It should be nice and smooth for you to watch but there may be a few glitches where I try and look at something and the camera doesn't want to look at it. <laughs> the sun was shining just now but it's gone in. Hmm. I did think about opening Peggy's bonnet, but is it going to rain? Does Peggy care? Peggy's here, so it's bound to rain. Uh, <laughs> gosh, there's loads of cars up there as well. Well, I couldn't resist. I opened Peggy's bonnet. <laughs> See, it looks so much better with that orange accelerator cable I fitted. <laughs> it was bright yellow before. I bet I, ha I haven't shown you on Peggy. You've got, um, oh, I've just seen Andrew McKenzie's here in his. I haven't shown you the, um, the new, oh, there's the magazine feature that I was in. Uh, classic and sports car magazine. Uh, September 2019 that was. Got uh, the new Allegro 50 sticker. There's Andrew. Just enough room for him to come in here. That's if he doesn't stall it again. Sounds like it's running nice now. It's Andrew. Has he got brakes? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, he's rattling. <laughs> Oh, he's a bit close. <laughs> he's a bit close, isn't he? <laughs> what have you been eating? A donut. <laughs> Got it all around your mouth. There we are, Andrew snuck in there. Parked a bit close, but you know, we'll let him off. I, I don't feel comfortable standing in front of it because. Um, you know, it might roll roll away after all that work he did on the brakes. Do we know he did a good job? That's the thing. <laughs> so there's lots to see, and I've decided I'm going to start over there somewhere because I can see rovers over there, 
and Dan's that way and he's maestro. I've got it on the road. I'm not filming everything today because there's way too much here. And there's a lot of modern cars like this Aston Martin. Um, yeah. What's that doing there? That's not British. Uh, Long Bridge, is it? Eh? Got to have a look at the uh, A35. Chris is away at the moment. My friend Chris. He's gone to the Isle of Wight, I think, in Barney. I'm pretty sure he took Barney because he was getting the brakes ready. So he won't be here today. We've got, we got a couple of Austins, which is nice. This one's very clean. Beautiful. Beautiful little two-door. Lovely red interior. That is really nice. Really clean. This looks like it's sinking into the ground. And I do like this really bright midget next to it. I don't know what colour that is. It sort of, sort of looks like vermilion, but it looks a bit more red. Very nice. I like all the, the red touches under the bonnet as well. I like that sort of thing. Look, no, we've even got a Rover Cabriolet. Rover 100 Cabriolet. Not seen one of those before. Very cool. ready to use almost as a daily look at that and these chairs look at these chairs they look so comfortable <laughs> almost inviting oh look the window's open have a good sniff oh she smells beautiful that is really nice smelling car i must say i wish you could smell it that's nice I wouldn't mind having a go in one of these, you know. I like that. Yeah. Joseph Lloyd from Lloyd Vehicle Consulting. I was wondering when I would see you. <laughs> Hello, I saw, Joseph. I saw you Allegro over there. Did you? Yeah. Where's your Rover parked? Just there. Just there. And Ro Rogers Not waiting far. for me. Ooh, just there. Roger's in there, is he? Roger's in there. I'll give him. I'll give him a little wave. You can give him a wave. He'd be I'd be appreciative of that. How are you feeling now? Uh, okay, I'm already on part four of the shambolic shuffle. Oh, you're going to be so tired after today. I am, but I've got another event tomorrow as well, my friend. Oh, uh, where are you going tomorrow? Uh, Optagons and long ships. Uh, we'll transport you there. Oh yes, yes. Ramy's going to that. I'm not. <laughs> Don't be sad, my friend. Oh. <laughs> well, I better get Have going. a good I've day. Got, I've got about 15 more parts of them. Oh, lots of minis. <laughs> oh, I've done those already. All right. At least there's no diesel ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> talk about those. <laughs> Bye. There's a Rover Sports Register here today. And just see Mark Gray waving in the distance. Oh, is this your Torah? I don't think I have. Not in the flesh. Oh, is that a different thing, is it? They're not called Taurus. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> I could call it an event. <laughs> is Maria here today? Somewhere. It is? Yeah, it's going to hear our argument about <laughs> states. <laughs> it's an MG ZTT, and its first owner was the guy who was in charge of the CGI backgrounds in Harry Potter. Oh, really? And this number plate has been on the car from brand new, 3rd, oh. of, uh, 3rd of September 2003. Wow. Not to be confused with the number plate that's on the Typhoon coloured um, 260, which was Kevin Howe's car, one of the Longbridge five. Oh, interesting. Somebody did confuse it with that at the NEC. Oh, really? 
It was on Facebook. Oh. It's not that one. Did you put them right? I have in the end, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's being a diesel. I'm slower than the 75. <laughs> faster wheels, but slower engine. <laughs> See, this is what you got to be careful of, you see, because you get all these, uh, what I call modern rovers, obviously MG as well. And then in between them, you'll see things like a P4 and a P6 and uh, a really old MG over here. Look at this. Ah, oh, look at the octagon dials. I didn't know they had octagon dials. This is a TF 1500. Oh, look, we know whose P4 this is. And look, he's got it all dirty. Poor Mavis. <laughs> so this is Mavis, David's uh, P4. Oh, she's still looking splendid, as P4s do. Well, and this must be uh, Dixon's car. I don't think I've seen it before. 22SC. Nice. So, yeah, I come running over to the end of the field to see this. Morris Atal, but it's got an Austin badge on it. Mm. Okay. So Morris badge on the back, Austin badge on the front. 1.7. Like the AA badges. <coughs> hmm, there's a blue 75 Tora here. But it's not Raimi's, because <laughs> this has got a dark colour interior. And what have we got here? Look at that interior. It's an Austin Ambassador. Don't see them anymore, do you? Look at that. Fantastic interior. Hello, all right. <laughs> got some good tunes on in there. Got some nice music. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> the sign on the front of this says it's only done 22,000 miles. That's why it's in such lovely condition. Beautiful. Um, all these modern rovers, I, d I do like looking at what people's private plates are. Big jibber. And then over here we've got MG03 gun. There's all sorts of, I think, well, they look like personalised plates to me. Even the modern one here, look, that's got a private plate on it. Oh, look. Almost turned the camera off then. Oh, is that, is that Robson's one? I think it is because he he had a knock on his uh, on his way down on his wheel. He said, "That's very clean inside." Mm. P6 estate, eh? God, look at this P6. This looks rough and ready. Smut. <laughs> Looks well used. And I like the um, the spider living down there as well. <laughs> it's got a bloody nice bonnet badge on it though. Look at that. Oh, look, P5. A Ridge. So this P5 would have been in production alongside the P4 as well. And it was just before the P6 come out. Lovely. And that 
I do like the red Land Rover, I've seen that before. This is almost like the Land Rover I drew when I was a kid and I said I wanted a red Series 2 with all the silver bits, you know, like chrome. It's not chrome, but silver bits. <laughs> so I'm stood here and I'm looking out. I'm looking out this way. I'll turn the camera around so you can see what I see. I'm looking out, I'm looking along these cars, I'm looking along these cars, I'm looking all along these cars, and I'm thinking, oh, I've walked past Raimi's estate. It's here somewhere, and there it is right behind me. I didn't even realise it was literally behind me. I walked right around it and him and didn't see either of them. Look, there he is crossed arms not impressed <laughs> didn't see his car <laughs> you should have brought the one with green wheels i would have seen that <laughs> i would have seen that oh you got a sticker on that's good <laughs> could have cleaned it though <laughs> you got like prime place on the end and it's all shitty <laughs>